Hello beautiful people, welcome to Juliet Kitchen. Yasmin here. Today I'm treating you to my uh, roasted chicken. It's very easy to pull together. It's seasoned with a paste of tarragon, nutmeg, fennel. Stick around long enough and you'll see how easy it is to pull together this dish. Okay, so this is about one uh, tablespoon of fresh uh, tarragon that I've uh, chopped as finely as I could get it. I'm adding this to my spice mix. My spice mix is actually um, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I'm using three teaspoons of sea salt in this recipe. You can use kosher salt and certainly adjust it for your diet. And I'm also using uh, three teaspoons of um, granulated sugar and then I have here about uh, five uh, cloves of garlic, um, which I like to have my uh, garlic uh, crushed. And our signature spice, if you will, is freshly grated nutmeg. The flavor is so much richer in the fresh nutmeg. Okay, that's our two teaspoons of fresh grated nutmeg. To this, I'm adding um, enough olive oil, I would say about one and a half uh, tablespoons to make a nice loose paste. Okay, and that's how easy putting together this paste is. I have my chicken, this is a whole chicken. It's just under four pounds. You could go up to five pounds with the seasoning. And all I really want to do is Get this season inside. Be generous with the paste. I'm going to cook this very slowly in a 350 degree preheated um, oven. It smells amazing just putting the seasoning on here. And I just usually like to tie the legs together or the drumsticks. Just get the wing underneath. Okay, I'm going to wash my hand and get this in the preheated oven. Okay, my hands are all washed. This is going to go into the oven. I have more than enough time to prepare two side dishes. So I'm preparing today uh, my fingerling uh, potato recipe in duck fat. And then I'm making for a uh, green vegetable, my pan fried Brussels sprouts. So both of these recipes, you can get the link right up here. Okay, beautiful people. This chicken smells amazing. So I baked it for an hour and 30 minutes. Cook time is going to depend on the size of your chicken. I'm going to allow it to rest for about 10, 15 minutes. This is so tender and juicy. The flavor is so perfect. I hope you'll try this recipe and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Until next time, happy cooking.